Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I feel like it has been so long since I filmed a video and I truly apologize. The week before last, um, you know, we brought my son to college, then we got the girls ready for school. And then this past week, I have been working on deep, deep cleaning my craft room. I was to the point where I did not feel creative. I did not feel like I was able to sit down and do any crafting because the mess was just overwhelming to me. I mean, other people might see it and think that it's not that bad, but I it really affected my creativity. So once I got started, I ended up going through almost every bin, every box, um, I created humongous D stash piles that I put on Facebook Marketplace, and I got those all listed today and sold everything except for two different things. Um, so I'm hoping that those sell by the weekend. And I feel so much better. Like, I feel like I can sit down and create now. So, what I wanted to do is show you what I've been working on kind of behind the scenes and then take you through my Halloween collections for this year. Um, I do have fall also pulled out. <clears throat> excuse me, but I don't have any fall swaps scheduled for right now. So I just put up um, Halloween and I can just kind of quickly show you the fall at the end of this video. Um, I went for a new storage uh, system for my holiday things because my old system really wasn't working. It was overflowing. Um, I was using the 12 by 12 iris containers and um, I had fallen Halloween together before last year. Then last year I separated them out into two and then this year it was overflowing and I just needed a new, a new uh, organization way to handle my holiday stuff. So I'll show you that too. So first of all, I wanted to let you know that I did fill up my tiered tray. So I've got this all ready for Halloween and I'll take you through everything I've got. So some of this is from last year and then some of it is uh, new from this year. So this container is just some bugs, some spiders. Um, I cut the you know ring part off of these. We've all seen these from Dollar Tree. Um, these... One of these is from Dollar Tree and the other is from a um, garland. I think these are from a garland banner or like a banner garland that was spider webs and um, let me see if I can find it. So it was spider webs and spiders and I deconstructed it to use the spider webs and the spiders. Here it is. <clears throat> And this was so much cheaper to do it this way because I think that Michael's last year had the garland on sale for way cheaper than the Halloween stuff was. So I think it was something like that. Um, and this is like a thicker plastic material that's coated in glitter. So this isn't foam. This is more like a plastic. So like I said, I deconstructed it and I'm using these for like uh, in the back of rosettes and stuff and you can cut them in half. Um, and I probably used half last year and I have uh, four left for this year. But then I also have the spiders and I think they're orange, <clears throat> excuse me, orange spiders as well, but I used those last year. So I have those. I've got a couple of the hands from Dollar Tree. Uh, these two are glow in the dark. And then I have these that I created um, a week or two ago. So I have those to use in some dangle charms. So that is the bottom level of my tiered tray. Um, I was able to make this tiered tray with Dollar Tree products. Um, I created it for $6. So I'm going to link that video down below if you're interested in watching how I put it together. Um, and then, okay, so I'm just going to rotate. We'll do the bottom row. This is my um, torn fabric. So I have the candy canes that I made here absolutely love how these turned out and then I just have uh the bows that I created the shabby bows here if you're interested in the fabric or the um shabby bows they're both sold in my Etsy shop which is always linked below so you can um check that out but I have some of those pre-made then I just have this pink strip um I'm going to use this on the syringe tutorial that I'm going to be doing so I kept this out um, and if you're new to my channel, I like to do prep for each holiday or season. So when I sit down to craft, it's already here for me and I don't have to take the time to create something. When I'm ready to put a swap together, all I have to do is put final touches on, uh, coordinate the items, and then I'm ready to send it out. So it is worth it for me to take a week off um, of filming and just get this done. So that is what, you know, the last, that's what I've been doing. 
Um, so I took my crepe paper and I ran it through my die cut machine and I made these adorable hearts. You can see, uh, I don't know, so this one has like stitching around it. So you can see the stitching. Um, and then I also did a, like a um, scalloped look around the edge there. So I had first of all started with the white, pink, black, and gray. And then I kind of just kept on going because I know that um, some of the collections that I'm using have this darker or this more um, hot pink in it. And then, you know, I had the orange, but then I, the lime green and this teal, um, I think are both in Hay Pumpkin. Um, the purple and the gray and the black, I think I have a few pa papers that go with this, but I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, I just, I can use them for different holidays if I don't use them for this. So I have a huge stack of um, rosettes. If you guys are interested in buying something like this, I can make some up and put them in my Etsy shop. Um, just leave me a comment below. But they're so nice to have on hand and just great for layering. I use these a ton. Um, this is just some wood veneers. I've got some owls for fall and then I've got some fun um, Halloween pieces that I received in a swap last year and a little ghost. So I have a bunch of those in there. Um, this is just some bling. I've got some jemmies, some, they look like uh, big sequins. And I've got those in orange, black, and silver. And I just pulled these out of my um, Halloween collection. But in my stash, I have pinks and stuff. So I'm going to add some different colors to this. Um, this is one of the big things I've been working on. Um, I was creating a bunch of shakers. So I did some Halloween candies. Um, and I just used two collections. I did the Hey Pumpkin with, from, from Cray Paper um, and created these. And then I did the Frank Garcia... Uh, 31 collection as well. So these are just the two that I created my shakers with. Um, I had gotten some new sequins from Allie a while back, a lot of um, Halloween ones that I ordered. So here's all my circle ones. And then these aren't finished. So what I'll do when I send them out, you know, I may tie a ribbon or something around the edge here. I could add some embellishments here, but the base is done, which is the most important part for me. Then I've got these, um, oval type candies as well in all the collections. Um, and I just finished these up this morning. So I've got all of those. Then I've got these spiders. I absolutely love this spider die. It is so creepy. The, the legs on it for some reason just give me the heebie-jeebies because it's so, I don't know if it's just the pointiness of it. I don't know what it is. So I've got, I think five of these in the two different collection papers. Um, so these all five were shakers and then this shaker I created upside down so I just ditched it and then I just po um, popped up the centerpiece so I could just decorate on him. So that wasn't a big deal. Um, what else did I cut out? Oh, so the Frank Garcia Prima collection had some butterflies on it. So I cut out some butterflies using uh, this paper for the background. And then I did this this in the gold on top of it. I didn't cut out a centerpiece. I'm not sure if I'm going to go back and do that or use something else for the center. Um, but here is that pink spiderweb paper behind there. Isn't that beautiful? I love how it looks with the gold. So those two. And then these two I did with hollow. So this is the Hey Pumpkin collection. I did the ghost paper with the hollow on top. And this is one of my favorites too, just this polka dot one. It's so simple, but it's so pretty. I just love the colors that they used. And I did the hollow on top of that as well. Um, I made some witch boots in the two different collections. So I have um, five of the small boots. And again, I can pop uh, different embellishments on these. Um, I did not create these as shakers. I wanted to keep these a little bit simpler, but there's the small and then these are the large. So like I said, they're ready to have some embellishments stuck on them and they are good to go. These would be great for layering for a memdex or a tag, flip book, anything like that. And then these are not finished either. Um, I've seen these done, these books. Um, I've seen them done where it is like the vintage picture from the uh, 31 collection on here. So it looks like a vintage book, which is so super cute. So I do something like that, but again, I've got the bases done here and I can add to the fronts if I want to. 
And then here I've got a ton of just bows cut out. So this is the bow portion and I can double layer these. So if you don't know how to do that with these, um, you keep the silver or the gold part, either the, either one, the background paper as it is with the loops on it. And then you take your um, second piece and you just cut around where the stitched line is there. Can you see that? And then um, you layer it on top of that and it looks so pretty with just the gold sticking out behind it. So I have all the bows parts and then I have the back parts created as well. So those just need to be put together. So that is the entire bottom row. Put these back. I don't think they all need to go in that one. Okay, then moving up to the middle row. We'll start here. Um, these I cut off of bracelets that I got in, in the Target Dollar Spot last year. I think they're so cute. They're just little rubber pieces, but I think they'll be cute uh, for layering. So like I said, they were attached to a plastic bracelet. So I cut those off. Um, I've got these flowers from uh, Hobby Lobby that were just on clearance. These were 74 cents. So I have two unopened packs that I can share in a swap. Um, and then I have one of the packs in here. And then this is just a collection of buttons, um, flat back pieces that I can use on um, different things for layering. It's got some buttons, some uh, resin pieces that were homemade. There's some buttons, there's some beads in here. A uh, little bat that's, it's wooden, um, but it's a little sticker on the back. I've got these bones from Dollar Tree that were gifted to me. Here's those butterflies. Oops. And I've got all those little spiders in here that I got from AliExpress. Uh, they look like this. There's gold and silver. So those will be cute to layer. And actually I used these already. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, some more buttons, some beads. Um, these are beads. I think they are. Yeah, there's a hole in those. Um, this is a bead. These are all uh, from a collection that Walmart had last year. It was like a Nightmare for nightmare Before Christmas collection. And I haven't been in Walmart in a while because I usually do grocery pickup. Um, but I should just do some browsing around. I've been seeing some cute hauls lately. Um, so I should just, I, well, maybe I shouldn't go in. Maybe I should stay away. <laughs> Uh, okay, so those are all layering pieces there. These, I wanted to show you guys these because these are all things that I picked up at, I don't think this one is, that one's not from Dollar Tree. But this uh, velvet bow here, oh my gosh, I just dropped it. Okay, so these two bows are from Dollar Tree. It was a two pack. They're an alligator clip. You could stick this um, on a project. You could clip it to a... Um, a bag to keep it closed for your bag topper. You could put a, you know, you could put something like that in the middle. Like, look how adorable that is. So these, you know, pre-made for you, all the work is done. 50 cents a piece at Dollar Tree. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Let me just grab the one that dropped. So this is the same thing. It's an alligator clip on the back and it is this beautiful velvet bow. I just think these are so well made and so worth the money. So, you know, for me to pay a dollar for that, that where all the work is done, so worth it. Um, and then these two, I think, are from the Hildy and Joe collection. I think these were on clearance at Joanne. Um, these little bows I received in a D stash um, from Tina. Hi, Tina, if you're watching. I love those. They're like a faux leather. So they look like that. Um, these flowers I also received in that D stash. Perfect for the collections I'm using. There's one more down here. Um, I do have some other flowers that I did not add to this tiered tray. They just go in a bucket underneath my desk, so I'm able to grab them um, easily. Um, the next thing I have are these. Um, it's the kissing booth die from Chaos Crafts. So I created some in the different... Um, card stocks that I have the different collections and then again they're ready to be decorated to match whatever theme I have so I have the banner here ready for words or whatever you want to put on there I have this <clears throat> excuse me this top set all top part all set so here's the primo one with the gold accents and then this is the hey pumpkin collection with the holographic accents 
So I have those five all set. I've got my witch brooms in here that I created with those little um, cupcake topper picks from um, Michael's. Those are on clearance. I've got these two pins that I created uh, earlier in the year that I absolutely love. Um, one says boo, one says eek, and um, I love these big letters with the black uh, background and the white words. So those are cute. I can't wait to use those in a giveaway. Um, and then I created all of these word strips. And the reason I did this is because of the Frank Garcia collection. It is so like vintagey looking and I think these give it just a, a really neat vintage flair. So I did um, gold. I've got some in silver. Not really iridescent but or holographic, but silver is close enough. I have a white, which is just a, like a tone on tone. And I think that looks so pretty. And then black. And then the pink. So these are the ones I have. I didn't have any orange, but um, I'll definitely be using those. Um, moving on to the last tier of the middle one. I've got just a few more shakers that I did. These are bats from uh, Chaos Crafts. And um, I just have... I think two from each collection here. So these are ready to be decorated as well. So that's what those look like. Um, and then in here, I've just got some shabby circles that I created last year. Just, I was using up some paper, using up some scrap paper. So I just have these, you know, sewn in a like, oh, like a shabby circle. So those are all set for layering. And then I've got some pumpkin cutouts and some cat cutouts that I received um, in a swap as well. So I thought I could uh, use those for layering. And then in here, I've got some chipboard pieces that are from um, Target a couple years ago when they had their spritz um, containers. And I worked so hard to get through so much of these last year and I really did a good job. I got through almost all of them and um, the rest that were left were in the D stash. So this is just what I have left. I just kept the cutest ones. And they're a thick chipboard, so they'll be great for layering. Um, then I just have some odds and ends, this creepy little girl. And then I have just some stickers in here that I've received in swaps that I thought would be cute to use. And that is it for the middle. The top is kind of a hodgepodge. Um, I've got some ribbon that I picked up on clearance last year at Joann's. I've got some rosettes pre-made that I put together last year using up some of the collections. I had a, an old doodlebug collection, so I used those. I've got an extra bat. <clears throat> I've got that holographic trim that I made. I've got some cray paper ready to cut um, to make like the frayed edges. I've got some old sequin mixes here. This was a clearance item last year. Um, just the gems. So I definitely can share some of those. I've just got a Halloween ribbon up here, some sequin mixes, like I said, and some washi tape. Okay, so that's everything in the tear tray. Next to the tear tray, I just have this um, VW bus that I cut out. The die, I don't love the die. Um, I don't know if I'll use it again, but I created these two. They're ready to be decorated, so I can use those. Then I have pre-made some uh, bow bag toppers. This was such a cute die. Uh, I think this was Chaos Crafts as well. I'll link below if I can find it. But it's a double layered bow. And then I changed up the pattern in between. And then I used for the center those spiders. How cute is that? Um, so these are ready um, to put on top of bags for my swaps. There's that one. That's got the gold spider. So yeah, I just switched up the one in the middle just to create a little bit of um, a little bit of difference in the color. So your eyes not looking at the same thing. I just noticed I those ghosts are upside down, but oh well. Um, this one I love with the pumpkins. This has the black polka dot um, in the middle. This one I love too. This is probably my favorite. Just the classic, classic Halloween there. I've got this one, and then finally these two. 
Okay, so that is all that's on my desk. <clears throat> then I have two other containers. The first one is, let me see how I can grab it here for you. The first one is items that I'm either gonna include in swaps or that I want to alter. So I've got two of the witches' cauldrons here. The other two are um, in my larger bin. I've got this tin. I picked this up at um, Dollar Tree. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I did like that it was like an orange, orange and white around it. So I was thinking of altering the front and putting some type of magnet something inside. I'm not really sure. Um, so I just grab that. I know sometimes, I don't know if you do that, just grab something because you have an idea. Um, this I want to change into a countdown to Halloween. So I picked one of those up. These are just some little gem packs in here. Um, I've got some wood pieces. I've got that shoe that I still want to alter. Um, I've got the syringes in here. I've got the pumpkins. I've got some socks. I've got these barrettes that I think you can use as a big like paper clip and I want to create dangles to go on the edge somehow. So those I'm going to do something with. Um, I have a bath fizzy in here from Target and then some of the glass bottles that I want to do um, uh, the potion bottle tutorial. I want to follow that tutorial to create those. Then I've got some lollipops in here. So this is like my, so this is like my um, altered, my box of things I want to alter. So that is just on the shelf of my desk here. And then finally, this huge, you, you're not gonna be able to see it very well, but this huge bin from Target is going to hold all of my overflow Halloween and my um, papers in here. So each of my collections are in a 12 by 12 storage plastic envelope. These I get at Hobby Lobby. I used to get them when they had their coupon. Now you have to pay full price for them. They never go on sale, so it kind of stinks. Um, I should order them off Amazon or order them from someplace else, but it always seems that I'm desperate to have them when I need them, so I go pick them up. So this is how I house all my collections. Um, so I've got, you know, the collections in there. Then I've got um, this little container that has the Joann's collections from last year. So I've got the the um, cupcake toppers that are really vintage looking. I loved all of them. So I picked these up on clearance last year. I've got some bottle cap stickers, some stickers from Joann's, um, some stickers that I got in a D stash from Tina, um, some stickers that I picked up <coughs> at Dollar Tree. I've got those all in there. Um, I put my holographic letters in this bottle here. Those are all in there. Um, and I've got the um, adult drink bags here. And then I've just got some paper bags here. Some plastic bags from Target. I picked up this banner at Target, hoping to just use the skeletons off of it. I think those would be cute to put on a card or something. And then I have this recollections pad that looks like x-rays. And that is from, I saw it there this year, but um, I got picked this up last year. So uh, it's vellum, not acetate. So that's cool. And then just, you know, some extra things. So I've got these little foam things that I can put in Happy Mail. I've got those uh, spider webs I showed you. And then finally, I've got the, the wood veneer pieces that also that I can alter. So that's pretty much my Halloween collection. So that big pink bin that you saw that I got from Target, that was a $9 bin. I plan on keeping things in there um, and just rotating it out of my craft room when I'm done working on it. But I have one for fall set up the same way. Um, I think I'll do a separate video on that just because this one is getting really long. But um, I have fall like that and I also have Christmas started like that. I need to go through my old Christmas bin. That is the one I did not get to. Um, and then I will be able to organize that. So that is my Halloween collection, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to start creating with it. Bye.